What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. We're talking about several different topics in this video here again today. We're talking about Scream 6, Halloween Ends, Evil Dead Rise, and then the Nun 2. The Nun 2. Just to kick it off with Scream 6. Scream 6 is about to wrap according to, well, I'm assuming it's about to wrap this week. According to Melissa Barrera's recent IG story, this image you see here on your screen, although she could just be finishing her scenes in the movie, of course, could still be going on. But given it's likely this means filming is wrapping this week, since again, she is portraying one of the two dual final girls we have or co-final girls that we have that are leading this new era of Scream, Sam and Tara Carpenter. So with them no doubt being the focus of this new Scream saga, if Melissa is about to finish, then the entire filming process must be completing as well anyway this week lines up with the dates that have been tossed around uh it didn't end on the dates that i was that i was being told the 22nd 23rd it's seeming like it's going to be ending today or tomorrow with the 24th or 25th so we'll see what ends up happening i know there was also that image that came out of behind the scenes of them shooting stuff till the 26th i guess so some other new set photos have been shared as well shout out to you tristan and shout out to jeremy for sharing these photos over on twitter these images clearly highlight scream 6 being set around halloween most likely as we thought it would be based on previous images there was another image of a victoria's hair salon which could be an easter egg for tori spelling who we know plays sydney in the stab movies and it might also address why mindy's hair is different at some point in the movie as she visits a hair salon during this film but we'll end up seeing what happens with filming wrapping we should of course start learning the official title if we haven't already based off of what we have already seen on set and hopefully learn more about our new batch of ghostface victims going into this scream six movie that's set in new york so jumping into halloween ends we have a brand new image that's been placed or that's been released courtesy of Fandango of what is presumably Michael Myers, as you see here in this image. Now, again, notice how this image highlights Michael going upstairs and what I'll assume is either the Myers house. But if it's Lori's location from the trailer, because, you know, Lori and Allison are supposed to be living together in this movie. If this is that house and this is from a this is a steal from the sequence of when we see what we assume is michael going up the stairs that we saw in the trailer then there's a chance this isn't michael but this is Corey cunningham after he is after he has his encounter with michael and proceeds to stalk haddonfield pretending to be the shape time will tell but this was a cool image to have released and the marketing season definitely is upon us now why would Corey? target Lori. i've talked about this in another video if this is indeed Corey cunningham in the steel that's being released and not michael myers as a large chunk of the general general audience will think if that's Corey, why would he target Lori? i've talked about this in another video if Lori has a problem with Corey, who is i'm assuming gonna have a strong connection with allison dating then that might cause a problem if she doesn't want Corey seen allison anymore after he starts acting a fool killing people again the fact that they are not really highlighting a lot with Corey cunningham going into the marketing so far kind of makes me feel like they're hiding him in the marketing you know with the poster that we got and now this steal which also might not be michael it might be Corey. so we'll see how this all goes down and we'll see how halloween ends ends up being received when it arrives later this fall on october 14th it's going to be available again we now know it'll be available in theaters and on peacock same day those of you who are upset about that again if you're someone who wants to see it in theaters go out and see it in theaters no one's stopping you from seeing it in theaters i get where you're coming from with thinking it's a pretty stupid move i can't even disagree with you completely that it's not that it's not somewhat stupid considering how successful theatrical releases have proven to be this year so in a movie like this yeah they kind of are shooting themselves in the foot but again it's the final entry in this timeline so jumping into the nun 2 the nun 2 is coming to theaters next fall the next fall season on on september 8th 2023 it has an official release date that was revealed earlier today uh yesterday by the time you hear this tysa farmiga is expected back as sister irene we know that and the film is looking to be a sequel set four years after the original in the year 1956 and set in france at a school instead of romania like the original movie all of this is according to a casting call that's now been removed if you watch my previous video on the nuts you know what i'm talking about this sheet also indicated a character by the name of frenchy working on the school grounds of where this movie is presumably taking place at based off that casting call so i'm just now realizing that the name of the name of the farmer valak possessed in the original movie 
which we know was tied to the earlier portion of that first Conjuring movie, his name was Richie or Frenchie, I meant to say. So I'm curious if this is the same Frenchie and that's who Irene battles as she may have spent some time tracking the possessed Frenchie upon realizing Valak had possessed the man and locates him at this school in France and presumably will try to help these young girls because there's also this mentioned in the casting call of a character i think named sophie another one was named antoinette sophie was the one who seemed like she was going to develop a relationship or some type of bond with frenchie not in a romantic way but he he again is on the school ground so i'm wondering if he's just posing as someone that works there or if he's taking a job there and he's using this access valid that being to stalk and possess children and this is how sister irene will come back in face or come back face to face with the demon nun valid uh, that we know we've seen since the original sequel came out in 2016, The Conjuring 2, that being. That original Valak movie, The Nun, I think that was a very lukewarm, a watered-down depiction of what we should have gotten, overuse of jump scares. I want this movie to, movie to be much more character-driven and earn its jump scares going into The Nun 2 when it releases next year. And hopefully we'll learn more as the release date approaches. And of course, as filming begins, because I think filming should start later this year, we'll learn more about the cast and more plot specifics about what we should expect going into this upcoming return of Valak. So Evil Dead Rise is coming to theaters next year. And I know that's exciting for every Evil Dead fan out there. To my memory, the film was being considered for a theatrical run after it had positive test screenings. I know One Take News had mentioned this in the scoop not too long ago. And it has been confirmed today at this point, it'll be yesterday when you hear this. It's been confirmed that Evil Dead Rise will get a theatrical release actually on April 21st, 2023. I think Bruce Campbell had alluded to this in an interview recently as well about the positive reaction from test screenings leading to a potential chance that this movie would be pulled or delayed and now get pushed to a theatrical release. So that's exciting news for everyone who's a big fan of the Evil Dead franchise and is looking forward to this movie. You now will be able to see it in theaters when it arrives two weeks after Scream 6, I believe. That's exciting. Or a couple weeks after that. But if you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you miss a video in the description. I'll have links to all my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.